right guys welcome back to the channel all right this is the last segment of installing the Tesla charger this is the wiring to your box all right uh, when you go down to your electrical panel I'm pretty sure it's gonna look similar to this disclaimer um, this for demonstration purposes only all right um, I'm not an electrician I'm a DIY do yourselfer all right um, if you're not comfortable working around um, electrical panels, what have you, uh, stop, call yourself an electrician, a licensed electrician. Be guided by your municipality and get a prof professional. So again, if you're not comfortable, stop, get your licensed electrician to do this for you. Alright, you're going to have to remove the panel, alright? And it's simply just held by screws and that's all we're going to do right now, just remove the panel. You can use a regular screwdriver. Uh, you don't need a power a power tool to do this. I just happen to have one with the proper bit. Now, before you do anything, you gotta make sure your power is off. All right. So I'm gonna shut my power off uh, uh, before I work on anything. Cause right now everything's live, and you don't want to touch this thing while it's live. I have a little tester, and I'm gonna pair. See, that's the main power up there. All right. I have a 200 amp breaker, um, so. My stuff is live, so I'm gonna have to shut this off before I even attempt to do anything before you run your wires. So I'm gonna shut it off at the main, and then what I'm gonna have to do, you have to figure out where you're gonna run your wires at. Uh, I'm looking up top right now, and look like I'm pretty full on the upper part, so I may have to come through the side but again be guided by how your setup is on how you want to run your wires a few things you should do before you even start wiring up your your uh, your wire to your box uh, a couple of things you guys should pick up alright again when you deal with this wire here this wire is very very uh, tough um, it's not easy to bend, um, especially when you're snaking it. So one thing, when you're snaking it through your house, and this is only if it applies to you. If it's, if your wire is right, your charge is going to be right next to your box, where it may be, this doesn't apply. It, it applies to if you have to snake it some distance into your joist. For one thing, wear gloves because you're pushing it. I end up scratching myself. Uh, Cause up in the joists there's different nails and stuff, so wear gloves. That's one thing, protective. Number two, get the proper fasteners. All right, I'll I'll show you a picture of it, but make sure you pick up like these fasteners. This one's called Mighty Hold. Um, uh, what they are, they're little clamps, so when you run your wire, you're able to clamp them down. All right, uh, I'll I'll give you a closer picture of it. All right, it's very important in locking these, this, this wire down. Just get it all neat. Most likely your wires are going to be coming from all over the places. Uh, so you want to identify the wire, get it out of the way, and have a nice clean insulation. So definitely have this. And all you need is some drywall screws to, uh, to uh, drill into this, to put it into the joist or wherever it may be, how you ever securing it. And it makes it much easier. So when you put it on wherever you snake in it, Put this in, put this on, and it, it keeps it in place. So make sure you pick up some of these. Have some drywall screws. Uh, number two, when you're going into your box, you're going to need some type of clamp, all right, to snake it through and, again, to, to lock it down. So you're going to need a few, a couple of these or at least one of these clamps here, um, a wire 
connectors. All right. Uh, again, I'll take a close-up picture, post it, and show them what you need. So you're gonna need that. So those are two things you're gonna need. All right. Uh, number two, when you strip this wire, you need some type of wire stripper. All right. You can have, you can get one of these can, um, units, or you can use a box cutter. But when you do use a box cutter, and this is just to take off the the top sheathing, right here. Um, just be careful that you don't cut into the main wire. All right, guys. Now as you can see, once I got my wires stripped away, all you have to do is just push down, hold one end, hold this down, and just pull it down, and it'll, it'll split open, exposing the wires here. Okay. I have to take my wire up to this point here. I'm gonna punch it out here. A little hope. When you see your box, there's little tabs you can punch out. I'm gonna be punching out mine about up here. So I'm gonna take this sheathing pretty much up here and stop it. So the sheathing will stay intact in outside the box. And when it connects, then it'll split, it'll split off with these wires being exposed to go into the box. Right now, I'm going to show off the power so I don't shock the hell out of myself. Alright, so. Right now. My power is off. Now, only thing I remember, power is still coming into the house from here, so you gotta be careful. But as far as the rest of the house, all the power is off. All right. Alright, just to show you a little closer, right here, I had to do a little punch out, put this little clamp on so I can run my wires, and as you can see, I strip my wire, leave this stripping on, because this is going to come and connect into here, and these wires are going to go inside your box, alright, alright, uh, so I just want to give you a closer look, and again, as I said with the clamps, make sure you pick up a few of these, I got one here, up here, I got one up there. I got another one here. So it makes it keeps it nice and clean when you're fishing your wire in. I'm gonna put another one up here. And again, you're gonna need a bunch of these. Alright, especially if you again you you're connecting your power outside. You're gonna have to fish your wire to wherever direction you have to go. Make sure you have these little clamps. And again, I'm only using drywall screws right here to keep it secure. All right, so so don't forget to pick those up. And again, pick up these little clamps here if you have to do a punch out. Now, if you have room above, that's that's even better. All right. Unfortunately, I have no more room on top, so I'm gonna have to I have to come through the side. The side. All right. So that's why you know, these are things you need to do. All right. Again, if you're not comfortable, get a licensed electrician. 
to this do this work all right because uh, you're dealing with a lot of amperage here all right so um my power is off everything's off in the box but remember these two lines here are still alive all right so the box is off but these lines are two are still alive so be careful um when you're dealing with this all right so i'm gonna continue on um on with the connection guys uh, what I'm gonna show you here now um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set up I'm gonna hook up the ground first all right this is my ground bar over here I remember I use my neutral white that's in the Tesla as a ground so my white is gonna go over here then I'm gonna take my black and white I'm gonna my black and red wire and connect it to my breaker all right so just now, if you don't use the white wire as a ground, just push it to the side, cap it off, and just use the tra traditional um, ground wire and put that on the, on the ground bus. All right. So Alright guys, as you see, I'm all hooked up now, got my two lead wires going into my circuit breaker, um, got my ground hooked up, um, again, this, uh, again, if you're not comfortable around electricity, if you're not sure what you're doing, please get a licensed electrician, alright, um, alright, this, this is just a demonstration on how I'm setting up my, my unit. Um, and that's it. All right. Make sure when you come into your box, um, make sure you get the, the proper fittings to tie everything down. All right. Everything's tied down, tied down. All right. It just makes a nice clean insulation. Um, uh, and that's it. All right. As you see, uh, my box is running outside. Uh, my Tesla charges up. So all I need now is a Tesla. <laughs> so and that one's coming so you guys appreciate this video uh, and the how to please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel this is studio ray and i'll catch you on the next one all right you guys be safe out there any questions hit me up in the comments and i'll talk to you guys later